just dropped the truck off. We're crossing our fingers that they will get it done before our trip on Monday. We we love this auto repair shop, so I have faith. They rock. But it is last minute. We have one full business day to get it done, so we're hoping. Worst case so. scenario though. Worst case scenario is we just leave a day later. So you know those times when everything doesn't go quite according to plan? Well, that is this time. So I just recently put my truck in the shop to get everything checked out and ready to go for our first camping trip. And we are three days out, one business day out, and I have to take my truck back to the shop because it feels like the differential is slipping a little bit. So we gotta take it back to the shop, hope they can get it done in one day, and we can get it back so we can leave Monday for our trip. If not, we're gonna have to delay our trip one day. So we're gonna cross our fingers and see how it goes. So while we're waiting to see if our truck is going to be ready for our first camping trip, we're gonna go ahead and start on a project that we have for the Avian. We're gonna finish painting the interior. We already painted the front half last year. Now we're gonna paint the middle half above the twin beds in the middle. And maybe this is last minute, I don't know, but we're gonna see if we can get it done before our camping trip. So it has been an interesting week, taking my truck into the shop last minute and not knowing if we're gonna have it back in time to go on our trip. But as you can see, we got it back. Thank you Murdoch Automotive, they got it in and out really quick. To another day where we drove halfway down to Houston to try almost buy a new trailer. You see that? Do y'all see that? Do you see that? Do you see that? Yeah, see that? You see that? Wow. The place where they make the trailers. They make them here. But well, we're gonna ask them. <laughs> hey, you know those uh, junk trailers at the tree line? Are you selling those? Not looking at the new casitas. We saw some at the back where we're going to see if they're selling. So we just went into the casita manufacturing and sales building. Apparently it's their only, it's their only one? Is that what he said? Yeah, they manufacture and sell here in Rice, yeah. Texas. So they make, they're backlogged two years. Almost. Almost two years. They make four a day. They can make four a day. Yeah, 20 a week he said. But they're nicer than we expected because we've toured a casita before and I couldn't stand up. Yeah. Lo and behold, we learned that 16 feet are only 5'10 high, but the 17 footers they have now are 6'2. Six six two. Two. So, casitas, you can stand in a two. casitas aren't as bad as we thought they were. No, Just, I mean, they're not bad. We no, love, I love they them. They aren't as short. That we, yeah. had, we wrote them off because of how short Ed they Clarence. were, but apparently. They're not all as short as the one we've been into. Oh, so now I want a casita. Casitas are really nice, and the layout's nice, so it gives some ideas for the U Haul. You guys. So, we take our bikes on most of our camp trips, and our last trip, Trevor decided to ride through the salt spray at Mustang Island State Park. And I didn't know that. He told me at the time, he was like, oh, yeah, I'm kind of concerned about the salts on my bike. And I was thinking salt air. I thought, we were only there for four days. No, he rode through the water and his chain is rusted. Like parts of it, you can't even bend the links. And I did my best and they're passable for now for our next trip. But I just spent this afternoon and yesterday afternoon on mine and his bike, mainly his bike, Main mainly his bike. And then I was also working on painting the inside of the Avian. And luckily we got that done last night, last thing last night, but that is all done. And I'm standing here outside, it was 70 degrees last week, it's 40 degrees this morning with some slight sleet, but we are still headed to Copper Break State Park, so let's go. Who doesn't want to always stop for coffee? Yes! Is she just playing by herself? <laughs> you can stop it, Dad. I'm already done with it. <laughs> International dark sky. Do I have to say something? No. 
perfect. All right, we just got to Copper Break State Park and we were gonna be lazy, but we decided that we were gonna do Thirsty Horse Trail. We didn't decide. Who decided? I decided that I'd like to do a short trail before dinner. So we're gonna do Thirsty Horse Trail and then go have dinner. <laughs> my earlobes I feel like you need to like hug them <laughs> did you not bring something for your ears oh my gosh I didn't bring a hat or anything you didn't pack a hat <laughs> I told you I wasn't this is our first trip of the year I'm terrible good morning everybody so it is a brisk 32 degrees here at Copper Break State Park but we're gonna go do a couple hikes today Juniper Ridge Nature Trail and Bull Canyon Loop and then after that we are gonna go out of the park and get some burgers some smash burgers of course we have to drag our kid away from that playground in order to get her to go on these hikes with us but that is our plan for today point of interest number three we have papa bear yes i like it good Maybe we head over to that marker. Or there's a bunch of posts. No indication on where to go. Juniper Ridge Overlook. This is much better than Enjoy all the, the other. overlook and watch your step. Too many people went off trail here, which caused erosion. No more kisses for today. Lots of fun actually. On to the next one. And this is like long and flat. <laughs> for sure. This is like a stroll at the mall with much better scenery. Kids love hiking. You can tell, right? I'm not going to. I'm going to. Mm. I am. You want me to yell? Yeah. All right. Yolay, yolay, yolay. I'm a wreck today. Why? <laughs> I forgot to put. I forgot to put on deodorant, but oh. then I realized that I'm also not even wearing a sports bra and i'm in my sleep shirt so evidently i got up this morning and just put a jacket on <laughs> oh my god <laughs> it's 13 13 miles like i don't remember it being 13 miles but we're going 13 miles for burgers <laughs> there's not a burger place between here and the other the burger place in 13 miles so that's how far we're going i hope they're good burgers So Donna twisted her ankle yesterday on our hike, so she is relaxing this morning. So I'm gonna try some of these mountain biking trails at Copper Breaks. She's a little bit worried that I can't read a map and I'll get lost, but we're gonna show her that it's gonna be okay. My wife was so worried about me on that bike trail, but it didn't take long at all. It was real quick, it took me about 30 minutes, I would guess. But a few hills, a little sandy, but it's pretty easy. Day three, I already went on a bike, a mountain bike trail. He did. I had to go check it out. But we are gonna go do the dark sky trail. Yeah, I'm Donna's, not feeling so yeah, hot. Yeah, Donna's foot's kind of sore from taking a little trip yesterday. And I'm not feeling so hot. But we're gonna try it anyway, so. It's only 1.6. And then we're gonna try a short mountain bike. If I feel <laughs> better. You ready? 
Do you go in the dark? Oh, why don't you go get your dog? She's just, <laughs> she's just yeah, saying, don't forget like, me, don't for forget me. me. Campsite. That'd be weird to have someone walk through your campsite. There's a campsite on the Dark Sky Trail that everyone will trek through. This is just another campsite, campsite. so I think we should have booked this one. Except for the bathroom, I guess. Well, I mean, we could have booked this one except there's no electric. Oh, really? Yeah, this is tent camping. Man, the view up here is so nice. Hey, if you tent camp, this is it. Look at these views. Oh yeah, we kind of wish we had solar because this view behind me is super cool. So you're saying we're getting solar? So I guess the next thing on our list is to get solar so we can stay at campsites like this. And this is... They're kid pens. Yeah, it's either, for, it's either for bad kids or good horses. You guys do tent camping, 38. You can share water with 39. I hope you guys are close. You're going to park right next to them, but 38 has got the view. Yep, one of it just number five, non-working window. Oh, no. She doesn't want it. She no kisses for me. <laughs> Apparently, we found out that if you're out here and it looks like somebody's been digging in the dirt, that this is a bunch of pigs. A bunch of wild pigs just digging in the dirt. So we are walking down here to what is supposed to be the swimming area. But unfortunately, we talked to a ranger and it has been a particularly dry year. It looks like an extra dry year. Because as you can see, is the swimming area, or what is supposed to be the swimming area. And it is like almost 100% dry. Currently, there is no water in the swimming area at Copper Breaks, but that's okay because my daughter just found animal tracks, so still having fun. State Park. Short little three night trip. It was short. It was short. It's and it's nice. really close, really close to Dallas. It was. It was a nice start of the season trip. It wasn't as warm as we had hoped. No, it was actually cold and freezing. Yeah, we didn't use the water in our trailer because it would have frozen overnight. That's right. We would have had frozen gray tanks and frozen poop tank. And I don't want to defrost any of that. It's Texas, so you never know when it's gonna get cold and when it's gonna get warm because it was 70 degrees last week. Yeah, it was. And 20 degrees at night this week. That's right. So, it was okay. It was still a nice trip. A couple days, it was nice weather. We got to hike. We had to freeze while we were hiking. No, and it's kind of nice whenever, you know, it's cooler to hike. But I have to say, like, the hikes are, there's not a ton, a ton of hikes, but the ones we did, Juniper Ridge Nature Hike, Nature Trail, was probably the most fun as far as, you know, being elevation able to go, yeah, elevation. And views and, mm -hmm. was, a couple made, of overlooks. Yeah, it overlooked the lake. Uh huh. It was just, it was fun to climb around on there. The trails aren't super well marked because there's a whole lot of erosion on that trail. And so you think it's a trail, but then it's actually just erosion and then people probably walk on it and cause more erosion but yeah it was the bull fun. canyon trail was well marked it bull canyon yeah bull canyon no, that's not. yeah bull canyon it had poles with arrows on them and juniper had poles but the paper was ripped off that's bull the... canyon has painted arrows so i think it's a better option yeah well the juniper ridge nature trail i'm sure that those were supposed to have information on those little wooden plaques oh, yeah, probably. 
but because it's at the very beginning of the season, they haven't put them on yet, so they probably fall off during the winter. Although it wasn't a good time to go swimming, it is a very low water season this year, so the swimming area was almost non-existent. I'm pretty sure the boat dock was closed. We only I only saw it at night, but I saw you can't dirt. put a boat in that. I know I yeah. saw dirt at the boat dock. Yeah. And the fishing pier is also closed. But when there's water, I'm sure it's gorgeous. Right, it's just, you probably check and call if that's your plan on going there because this year, 2022, it is dry. Oh yeah, and it is the closest, I think it's the closest dark sky park yep. to DFW. So the nights that it was clear, it was gorgeous. And we talked to the park ranger there. Ooh. He was saying that they, do everything they have to. They have to meet certain requirements to be considered the dark sky park, which means turning off lights or having lights that are pointed down. So they do, they meet all the requirements to be a dark sky thing. Very informative park ranger. We so, met yeah. him. We met him because they had on their schedule trap ball, yeah. which we found out is a precursor to baseball. So you basically just step on this wooden, looks like a wooden shoe with a little launcher on it. It bounces like it's a like hacky a sack up. Yeah, it's like a catapult. It launches uh, like a hacky sack up and you hit it with like a cricket paddle. Mm -hmm. So that was a fun little game to play. And then he also- Showed us how to kiss longhorns. Yeah, he also rescheduled the longhorn showing so we could actually see the longhorns, which was very, very nice. So Stuart at Copper Breaks is great. Very important and very helpful. Rockstar park ranger. Rockstar park ranger. Like, I'm sure our, all park rangers are super nice, but he was, he's been, out of all the ones we've ever spoken to, he's been the coolest. Very above and beyond. Yeah. Thank you, Stuart, if you watch this. Yeah, thanks, <laughs> Copper Breaks. Websites were nice. There was not much to see. We did like their picnic table covers. They're like little teepees that shade you from the afternoon and night times, or the afternoon sun. But in the morning, the sun is on the table. That's nice. Yeah, so it warms you in the morning and it keeps you shaded in the afternoon. So and the playground, though it looks meager, was yeah, Daphne all spent, on your, all yeah. depends on your kid. Daphne loved it. Yeah. She, she, she met spent a little, so much time on that playground. She met a little park buddy while she was there. And we were at site 13, directly across from the playground for a reason. So we could sit there and watch her while she played. She just went back and forth. So if you're looking for a site in this loop, Site 13 and probably 14, right across from the playground and close to the bathroom. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below for more trips like this. And we're gonna start our renovations on our Avian and our U-Haul. Continue the renovations. Yeah. We have a few things. And that... repairs at this point. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, we have to do the water repair. Oh, and now so. the electric. We have to troubleshoot the electric. And then we're going to put a refrigerator in the U-Haul CT-13 for our future trip to Disney World. Oh, so many things. I mean, yay! <laughs> See you next time. Let's do it again. <laughs>